YouTube. This is my millionth time trying to make this video. I'm going to be real quick, very simple. I started this phase of my weight loss journey on January 2nd of this year. So, coming up on my six month or halfway point, doing this first half of my weight loss journey for 2012. So far, I've lost 23 pounds. Not celebrating that because January, as of the second week in February, I had lost 23 pounds. During this six months, I gained weight back and went back up into the lower 220s, 221, 222, and then got back down went all the way down to 209 and then back up to 213. The good news is is that sorry, the good news is that I've been 213 for like 3 weeks, no gains. I've been working out. The other side of that is I haven't lost. I've been working out hard, jogging, walking, um doing just a little bit of calisthenics. Why haven't I lost then? Because I, um, why haven't I lost if I've been doing all that exercise and working out like crazy? Why? It's because I've been tearing up ice cream. Klondike bars and uh, red velvet ice cream. I've also been eating too much protein. I've been eating rotisserie chicken because it's been hot. I've been very busy with work and doing things after work. So I've grabbed a rotisserie chicken. Have it with some salad. Grab rotisserie chicken. Have it with corn on the cob and broccoli. However, I've been having too much of that. You shouldn't be eating four pieces of chicken a day. Six pieces of chicken a day. You shouldn't be eating that. That's almost all chicken. So, that's what I've been doing. So, the good thing, boom. Exercising a lot. Haven't gained any weight. But, got to cut that out. So, Rotisserie chicken, I do have some in my refrigerator now. It's all breast meat, breast and wings that's left. So I'm going to slice that down and maybe put that over my salads for maybe the next two days or whatever. If there is still some left over, it's going in the trash. So then I'm going to just do, I had a weight loss journey before where I lost 68 pounds as some of you may know. During that time, I was straight like one piece of meat. So if I had um, a chicken breast, you know, it was just the chicken breast. It wasn't chicken breast and a leg and I mean much on this chicken thigh or whatever. So it would be maybe, you know, um, six ounces of the breast, four ounces of the breast at lunchtime on a salad, six ounces for dinner. And that would be give or take a little bit. So I really need to get back to doing that again. I even thought about purchasing um, a kitchen scale so I can weigh my meat. I'm not going to do it. I lost 68 pounds and I wasn't weighing it. I just, you know, kind of eyeballed it in one piece. If I had a breast, I would have a half of a breast. If I had... A chicken thigh, which I don't do too much of the dark meat, but if I had a thigh, it would be just a thigh. If I had two pieces of chicken, it would be because it was a chicken leg. Don't do dark meat too much, but if I had one, two pieces, it would be like a leg and a wing. So, um, getting back to that, no ice cream, none, until my birthday, if I have it then. I know I won't be eating ice cream on my birthday. My birthday is also one of my favorite things to eat, which is cheesecake. Um, it's around that National Cheesecake Day. So, um, I probably have some cheesecake or whatever. But, until then, abs every day. At least three ab exercises um, for three sets of 15. I demonstrated some standing ab exercises for you. Do these. Bam, three sets of 15 on each side. You can do them with a straight leg or you could do them with a bent leg. You can hold it tight. I mean, this is <clears throat> tight. So you can do those. I also do these where I might turn 
to the side, kind of facing my shoulders, a face in the wall. Um, I guess this is perpendicular to where the camera is. Mm, knee coming up um, past my navel and arms coming down. All right, to meet elbows coming to meet the knee and twisting. All right, to work the abs. You also can do these and squat it just a little bit. You can squat down just slightly, or you can do it a whole bunch and you just turn it. You're not using your arms or your shoulders to turn, you're focusing on your abs and you're using your abs. Okay, you want to hold your arms, your abs in, and then you can even add a punch while you do these. You can do it more just to the front, or you can bring your arms, shoulders around, and punch that way. But you still, you're not here with your throwing your arms. You do it turning with your abs and punching lightly, punching lightly, punching lightly. Okay. So you can do those with no weights, how I just did them, or you can do them using weights. This is actually a 16 ounce jar. You can use these when you do your exercises. Um, you can use a hand weight. This is a five pound hand weight. So you can use these to do the exercises with. Um, I put my one hand over the other when I'm doing these. You just come down, bring the weight down, so that can help you. You can even twist with these, turn the weight out this way and hold the bubble ends on it. And just use this as I come around. That can help as well. Or you can use a kettlebell. I purchased this kettlebell came in a set. This is, it came with a 5 pound. This is a 10 pound. Came with a 15 pound and a Jillian Michaels DVD and it was either $5 or $8. So, that's that. Bam. Hit this. And move it. You can count these one or two ways. Alright, so I start here. I turn one side and the other. One, two, some people count this way, one, two, three, four, however you get to your three sets of 15, that's how you get there. You may do three sets of five, wonderful, that's your goal. You may do three sets of 10, you may do three sets of 25, but that's my challenge I'm doing for myself. If you would like to join me, fine, Our Rewarding this is better health, a better life, and a better us. Our rewarding this is increased or a stronger core to improve our, improve our posture, better stamina, walk up a flight of steps without breathing heavily, all of those things. I'm not, it's no prize, it's no any of that. Those are the word rewards. Um, decreasing your chance for diabetes, improved blood pressure. All of those things, that's our reward for this challenge. If you would like to join me again, you can. You do not have to subscribe to my page. You don't have to even let me know that you're doing it. Um, if you want to, you can. On my fitness pal, I'm just DMV Butterfly without the um, 1970. So you can hit me there. You can tweet me. Um, I believe my tweet is DMV Butterfly. It might be DMV Butterfly 1970. That's how much... Um, so, if you want to do those things, you can. And I will do another video. Oh, my gosh. I'm looking at the veins in my hands, um, everyone. And I'm sorry. This would, this is, to me, a non-scale victory. I had a weight loss journey where I lost 68 pounds. And I was on an elliptical machine in the gym. And one of the trainers came by. And he was like, oh, my gosh. And he called another trainer over. And he was like, she has the whatever vein. Like, he knew what, it, what these veins are called, the names of the veins. Um, well, I had one of these in my hand that came all the way up, or halfway up my arm. Sorry, I'm going to move my bracelet. Where this vein came here, 
and then came up like midway on my arm. And as heavy as you see them in my hand was as heavy as it came all the way up my arm. Just very um, evident. And I can, I can even feel it. I don't know if you can see it's, that it's coming up. I can even feel it. But then, again, today I'm 223. I was about 285 then. So that's something that I look forward to. He told me, like, why they came out with, you know, indicates good blood pressure and heart rate and something about the fat in your body, losing fat, whatever it is. I don't even know um, all of the logistics of it, but I know when I see that, <laughs> um, I'm excited and motivated. It gives me a push. So actually, I'm going to Google that and see what that all means. But I'm doing three ab exercises. Um, every day, and I'm doing three sets of 15 every day until my birthday, which is going to be 30 plus days because, um, I really want to get some, um, improvement in my ab area. When I lost the 68 pounds in the past, I would do ab exercises every day. Now I wouldn't do target the same areas every day. For example, this exercise targets your obliques or your sides and then I do some that target the lower ab some the upper ab and it really kept my core tight I felt great it also helped to strengthen my back so that's what I'll be doing and I look back on my video that I did from January 14th of this year it was just um you know I lost everywhere since then except my abs so this is what I'm doing if you'd like to join me come on God bless y'all